under arrest for the brutal slaying of small town mom, Katerina Brow. Kenny Waters is thrown in jail. It was a brutal murder. I, I don't know how you stab somebody so many times. ARPD are determined to make Kenny pay for this crime. But they know they need more evidence so prosecutors have enough to build their case. And that's when a second of Kenny's ex-girlfriends comes forward to tell police a lurid tale. Rosanna Perry claimed that she lived with Waters for a while, suffered a lot of physical abuse from him, including threats of murder. Kenny did not have very good judgment in uh, his girlfriends. Roseanne tells the police officers, uh, oh, you know, he made an admission to me when we were out drinking one night that, uh, yes, I killed the German And of course, this was then used against him. Waters' trial for murdering Katerina Brow opens two years after her death, with her hometown praying justice will finally be served. How do you plead? Not guilty. This has all the hallmarks of a conviction of convenience. Somebody has to pay. Who better than the local bad boy? Kenny's time card from the diner gives him a solid alibi. Everything the prosecution has to offer is hearsay and supposition. I'm not so sure about that. When you put all the circumstances together, a history of hatred for the victim, the blood evidence at the crime scene, and now two women separately claiming he told them he did it, hard to get more damning than that. And that's not all the prosecution has against Kenny Waters. They say it's more than likely he knew Katerina kept money hidden in her home. He knew her through his job at the Park Street Diner. My mom was planning on taking a trip to Germany. She, she was saving money for that. Maybe something was overheard. That's the location where Mrs. Brow said that she had a good deal of money at home. And Waters heard that. Katerina's cash is untraceable, but her missing jewelry isn't. And Kenny is said to have been trying to sell it. Hey, here. Yeah. After the, the murder, he was in possession of a piece of jewelry of Mrs. Brow's and um, offered to sell it to someone who turned out to be one of Mrs. Brow's uh, friends. Five dollars. Yeah. Addie was one of my mom's best friends. And so she contacted the police and let them know about what he was trying to do. The case against Waters is solid, backed up by real witnesses. Justice for Katerina Bro is just a verdict away.